Well, it's that time. I've got to give you an update. It's uh, right now. It's May first. Oh, hey, this is a uh, the birthday, the life day of my uh, my stockbroker. So, hey, bro, uh, happy life day. Enjoy your enjoy enjoy the day. You know, he turns fourteen today. You know, you say, brother, what? I think got another week before this thing really goes up. My my voice is back. Well, you can't hear it because I have a I have a clove. I have clove under my tongue. I put clove uh, every morning. I put a clove under my tongue. And then it, uh, whatever it does when I eat that. Anyway, he said, what? 14 year old stockbroker? Yeah. <laughs> At 13, he, he was interested in stocks. So I gave him some money. He said, do whatever you want. You know, da da da. Commission, da da da. So I guess, you know, if he. If it's a passion and he wants to continue to do it, then, you know, why not start him with, hey, if he was eight years old, I'd do the same thing. You know, hey, hey here's some money. Twice a year, I'd give him a little bit of money, you know, just a tiny bit, you know, because I guess he gets money from other places. Anyway, anyway so happy life day. And if you have a, uh, a person in your circle, it doesn't have to be your child. If your person is interested in something, then give him some support. Big deal. You know, won't, won't hurt you none. Anyway, so but what has happened is my life, uh, this thing has moved. Thing has moved a little bit now because we're gonna. So, you know, pretty soon. Yeah. Oh. Oh, so anyway, I gotta give you an update. Um, usually I'm, I'm preparing, but I, I was fasting. I went and uh, I, I started going back to my regular Monday fast. What I do is I eat, I eat something on a on a Sunday night, and then my last like eight o'clock, nine o'clock, whatever it is, go to bed, and then I don't have anything on Monday. All day and night. Right now it's Tuesday, Tuesday morning. So, uh, actually, technically, I can eat again on Monday night because there's a 24 hour fast, but use that go through the Tuesday morning. It's a 36 hour fast. But now, I'm not even, it's Tuesday morning. I'm not even going to do my regular my thing that I usually I'm not going to do that. I'm going to wait till a little bit after, after my treatment today. Then I'll go to the Artist Cafe and have a, a dosa, a millet dosa, I think. That's, that'll break the fast. But I do drink all that. I, I drink all that. I'll tell you that later. That looks like, let's, let's move around. Oh, turn the light on. Turn the light on. Hey, it doesn't matter. Hey, we're just past uh, sunrise. I, I, I wake up during blue light. So, hey, shout out to Blue Light Brigade. Hey, I ain't talked to you all in a while, but what can I tell you? You know what I mean? So, let me first show you the, the, uh, the, 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 the bathroom here. Do I, can I move this thing? I don't understand why I can't. Anyway, um... I'll give you a tour of the place as I usually do and tell you what what, 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 what we do here. So this is the uh, the bat the bat the bat the, the, the bathroom the laboratory whatever it is. Um, now right now I have a uh, see this is a I put uh, I wash my uh, I wash and I wash I mean I wash my clothes and this that's that's the cloth I wear um, in the daytime I'm gonna rinse that out like that. This is the toilet here. So oh, I had rinsed this out already. I'm gonna hang. I'm gonna, I'm gonna hang this out. This is a shirt I wear usually in the in the nighttime. So I'll carry it with me. And here you, you know, you you've heard like a boudet, you know, because this, this is a uh, we're in Pont we're in Orville, which is next to Pontchartrain, which is in the town of Duke State, it's in the southeast, southeast, southeast portion of the of the thing. But this was the area uh, during World War Two. They had the French work, so they had to, like the boudet. So this is a so here, here you go. See, you have the toilet. You know, you have your toilet, then you have your seat. When I used to say, "Put the seat back down," you know, put the seat back down. I laughed. I said, "Wait a second, you know, women, <laughs> you put the seat back down. <laughs> Why men gotta put the seat back down?" Anyway, to the day what you do. This is for your your uh, your, your anus, your, your butthole, and you know, you just that, and you shoot that up your butt, your butt crack. Uh, to clean you off, to clean you out. It's funny because it's like, no, you know, all that stuff. So, uh, after then, this the shower here, you know, I have my. I'll go back. Oh, I just had this to listen to Corey today. Uh, 5150 comes on today. And last week, Corey, Corey went this whole thing how you had to clean your, you know, clean your butt. But, um, what's his name? Uh, 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 in Red Fox, he had an album, Gotta Clean Your Ass. I had a picture of a donkey or whatever. Anyway, uh, so that's what you're supposed to do. People don't understand. Well, you gotta get, you gotta really clean up there, you know. In fact, um, one of my last, um, well, I should say this way, because I keep on interviewing. I had an interview with the, the last of the Buffalo Soldiers. This is after, 
you know, of course it was like now, but the unit was still operating to as World War II, I guess, or maybe the Korean War. And so one of the last things, uh, hey, he's a blessing on uh, Nelson Davis, Nelson Davis' father, and then a group of those guys got together and I interviewed them for Nelson. He was trying to do a program with BAI. And so the first thing is, he said, well, what are you supposed to do, Bill? And he said, well, you, well, you got to clean the butthole of the, uh, of the horse, you know? Anyway, so what I do is I have a, I had, this is uh, my soap. Well, anyway, in there is a, I let the soap uh, dissolve in that thing. So I use that. And this this thing here is, a, I guess it's a, some husk from the uh, coconut. So I use that as a scrubber or whatever it is. So, oh, and of course, this is here. I put my feet up on that to, to put your feet up. I learned that in, uh, in Canada, Montreal. That was in the eight, no, I guess it was the 90s. When I first went to Montreal in the 80s, 1988, so usually on my birthday, as well as New Year's, I just, I, I just take a trip, you know? <laughs> I just leave, I just go someplace, randomly. And that first trip in 88, that's when I first left the country, I guess I officially first left the country, that went to Montreal, was at the, uh, the jazz festival up there. I put this back up. And uh, that was nice. Then I came back home year after year, and one of those years I went, and this guy uh, went to, uh, anyway, this guy had this, on his toilet around the thing, he had to think, you lift your legs up a little bit. And he was explaining, it was a doctor, and he was explaining to me that that's how you're supposed to, you know, defecate or whatever it is. Okay, so I'm not going to do my thing this morning, so we're not going to do any of that. Oh, I should tell you, I should see up here, this is the laundry detergent, and this is baking soda. So what I do, both in the bucket, I have laundry detergent in there, and a little bit of it even here, I put the baking soda, a little bit of baking soda in there, because it, it does stuff, you know, you'll figure it out. Okay, so we're through with here. Oh, and I have my, uh, I put uh, incense here. I have this special incense I have here that, uh, for that little ones right there. Oh, here is, uh, this is citronella oil. Let me show you, let me show you what I do with citronella oil. Let me turn this out. Oh, go ahead and turn this on. Turn this on, boom, 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 boom. Turn that light on too. Look on the door. Of course, it's morning. Um, so I take that oil, that's the, the, the essential oil, the uh, citronella oil, whatever, oil, and I put it in there. And at night, I, uh, I, I go to bed. You know, these these little candle, tea candles, right? And goes into this little dispersed, whatever it is, and I put it in here, and I let it. You know, and eventually it'll, you know, it takes out the one out that's dead. Come on out of here. I'm not going to wrestle with it. When I put the oil there and the candle is burning like that, the candle is burning. I'm going to use my other hand. candle is burning when the candle is done. Oh, boy. See, the candle is done. So I'm just, I have a little receptacle over here. I throw that away. Um, I guess today I had. Uh, well, let me go. Hey, let me hang my. Let me hang this up first. So you gotta go out here first. Hang this up on my. Oh, let me turn the lights out here. At night we had the lights on, so it's my duty. <laughs> Shouldn't say it that way. To turn the. Those lights out here. I turned. I turned my light out earlier. Uh, oh, here. I should tell you this. I have my papaya seeds that's drying. You know, I guess the ants are eating too. They take, they're taking away the papaya right there. The, and the, uh, the size of papaya seeds is drying because I'll use that as my seeds uh, later too. Let me hang up. Just a second. Let me hang this up. Move this out here like this. So y'all can see. I don't know why y'all need to see. Um, let me hang this up. Well, it would have been drying out because again, I wash every day. Did this, uh, anyway, um, and that you see right there that's hanging on the line right now. 
that's the black, right? And I use that as well as uh, 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 my other things that uh, every day I wash that out. A little damp here. Okay, I'll leave it. Okay, anyway, so that does that. Upstairs there, that's where the refrigerator is. So I'm not going to do anything today. I'll leave that alone. Let's go back up here so I can continue our little tour here. Tell you what goes on. Uh, uh, da, 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 da. Guess I should let it, I should just let it stay out because then it's gonna get warm hot. That's what am I doing? Yeah, it's gonna get hot later. The first thing is gonna dry it off real good. So let me just go back out here. Oh, oh just go back out here. Hang this up. <sighs> what the, nice pegs though nice pegs anyway I'll leave it like that that's real right it's the early morning sun will get it it'll dry I'm not, I don't wear that uh, going up to my treatment anywhere I have to keep my shoes inside because a dog will come in the middle of the night take my kid's shoe and run around with it uh, okay so we have the sand keeps on going that's the sand there da 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 um I'm going to show what we have here. Oh, I should take a little bit of water in the morning. Okay. Move you around. Get back over here. Get out of the way. I'll leave that up there. I have some uh, my water in my copper thing that I got from Cape Town. And what I'll do is I'll take a pinch of sea salt and I'll put it in there. Take a pinch of sea salt, put it in there, take my... I'm supposed to put the salt on your tongue, but I don't do it. I have my clothes under my tongue. And you put the one, swirl it around a little bit so it dissolves. Um, this that Muldoon salt. It's a flake. The flake sea salt, it's like, this is good as Celtic salt. I think it comes from the same river bank or whatever it is. So then I uh, came right away. They can't see me. And I know how my mouth is getting because when I, uh, I don't have to pick out the side of my mouth anymore. What I can do, I just do right there, right on the front. That's good. Mm. That's good. Now, usually I drink the whole... Well, not right now, but you know, when I pick the whole, the whole, the whole thing, I wait for a little while. I finish with you, you fine folks. Uh, like that. Now, this morning I won't be doing a comb because I'm not eating this morning. Usually I do a comb. Um, I let the comb because this is my traveling altar here, and I'm traveling altar have my drum. I don't know if I'm going to take the drum here. Yeah, I'm going to take the drum back to, uh, I'll, I'll take drum here too or whatever. Um, I, I have, Chimaranga has these little cards. Usually I used to carry one that one that had Ziggy Marley reading, you know. He was reading the Holy Bible, by the way. And, uh, and that, well, I think I still have it someplace. I think I still have it. But anyway, I have Ziggy Marley read. But this is another Chimaranga card. Chimaranga is the literary magazine out of Cape Town. Uh, Chim they, now they have they have events there all the time called the Chimaranga Factory, right there on the, on the main road, Alpha Road, whatever it is. But I, this card here, I started, this, this is one of the first times I can create my altar here. But this card here, I don't know if you can see it, but you know, they have these, because it's a literary magazine. This one, I don't even know what it says here. One issue that they had put on the back, I'm not going to say it, but this is Chimaranga number two. This discovering home I'll let you read what it says all right I ain't gonna say nothing that's what it that's what it says in the back so I use this because my traveling it's my traveling altar and uh, so I, I, I use that there and my traveling altar it was convenient because here I don't get to be stable much when I, I guess when I'm when I'm not traveling at home so I don't do anything there Jim Bars and I travel, so I don't really do anything there. But when I get back to the States, then I'll... I'll well, actually, this travels with me all the time. This is in my bag. This is uh, 
like you said, Sheikh uh, Salomon uh, and Bakke, right? I got this when I was in the synagogue when I was at Holy Spirit Tubar. They gave this to me. This is him at age 42. He was the he was the uh, marabou, the big marabou there for the uh, Holy City of Tubar. So this is my this is my free pass in uh, in synagogue, any place I go. If they, you know, whatever. Well, because that's where the bifalls are. Uh, bifalls like a they're, they're like the they're, they're the rosters before the rosters. Anyway, so this is my free pass. I get you know. Don't worry, the people who know know. So I use him for traveling. I put a little clothes. I got some clothes. You see the clothes down there and salt down there like that. So I'll keep away evil spirits. And uh, uh, so that's it. And then I have one, well, whatever it is. Oh, right now I have I have the big one going. So I have my incense going. I got the big one. Uh, for ins keep away insects, I guess. Anyway, so I got the big one in the morning. I put the big one on, but I have a little ones that I do out throughout the day, and I got these nice, uh, anyway, don't worry about it, of course. Okay, so that's it. Got the honey, of course, for what I do, my little thingies here. I'm gonna take another, another sip of water. Mm. Mm. Oh, okay. Okay, so that's, the, that's what I, I'm, oh, you know, I'm gonna do something different now. I've decided, I can't really, uh, this is where I sleep. Uh, I sleep with my my head to the north like that. That's my little right here. Um, now here's what I'm gonna do. Let me show you something here. Uh, if I put my feet on this my on that pillow, I sleep on a towel, right? And that's the head over there. Let me move this so you can see. Let me put this here so if you can see. Oh yeah. Now what I'm gonna do now, well not now, but I'm gonna start, here's what I'm gonna start doing even when I get back. I'm going to start under here. I have a little yoga mat. Hold the mat this way. What I'm gonna start doing is sleeping. The problem I can't really do it here because then I'm gonna face the south because what I'm gonna start doing is uh, I'll take this one. I did this when I first had my little incident with the sea 22 years ago. Uh, and I recovered. I was recovering in Silver Spring, Maryland, in the Kenji place. Shout out to the Kenji. So I the tone. So whole year in the neck breaks. I wouldn't I wouldn't think about that thing. Uh, but what I would do you know, on her, yeah, her couch there. So what I would do is I would actually sleep. You know, because they had the, the bedroom, they would sleep in the bedroom. And I would sleep on the couch. Not on the couch, I would sleep because I was in a neck brace, so I'd sleep on the floor with my feet up like that on the floor. And I now realize, I don't know if you can see me here. I realize, you know, I'd rather sleep on the floor with a little bit of mat here than to sleep on a, you know, the way I sleep in, in, in Dubaza, the way I sleep, well, when I'm in the bed with my wife, I the mat, you know, the whole thing. But in Dubaza, I can put my feet up like that, have the mat down, and sleep on the floor, with my back and everything on the floor. And I actually like this, you know, because my feet are up and I got the support of my back because they're working, they're working on my, uh, they're working on my spine now. <clears throat> so you did, see so the thing is, you know, people, are, this whole Bell's palsy thing started right before I came uh, here to India, like two weeks before. So it's like a weird thing. This is an indication of how things are going, but you see that. But my body was really jacked up. I mean, my uh, hamstring was tighter than a drum. <laughs> you know, now the, the, the right now they're working on because I have to take up my spinal cord there. Got my my left knee and all my 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 left foot, whatever have you. All this thing is loosened up. 
they really did a fantastic job for the last, um, uh, well, I had 42 sessions and then on my third uh, uh, 21 session. Anyway, uh, but it's my whole spine, they have to realign, get that back. I mean, when I first when I first came to India 20 years ago, and I was uh, on a healing mission, I went to one place, and this guy looked at me, he said, I'm gonna cure you. And he kept on like, doing that spine thing, but it doesn't work like that. Here's the thing. Now I don't think that people understand. You know, when I do that chiropractic thing and all the rest of that stuff, you, you, it, your body is says, you just can't crack something, then it's, no, that's not how it works. Mean, this is an Ayurvedic thing that we're doing right now. And what happened with Ayurvedic, you know, they use oils, and the oils sort of seep in. You know, it's like, it's like when you use the, uh, and I've used it too. Every night, when I go to bed, I have the castor oil, right? And you put the castor oil in your navel, like that, and other places. Anyway, let me go back over here. Where should I go? Ah, uh, let me go to my traveling thing. So, so, anyway, so, so you... The oil goes into it goes into you on oh, this my uh, thing for my eyes. I do that every once in a while when I'm laying down. I also do this exercise because when you're doing this kind of uh, healing, then what you're also doing, move this up a little bit. What you're also doing is you're trying to help from the inside. So I have this exercise that I do. Well, man, it's going, it's, don't worry. I, my mouth has changed the size of it. You know, I'm just giving the an update. And maybe in about 12 days, I'll give you another update. Maybe everything will, we'll see what happens. Um, but my voice is back. I feel fine. I think my voice is back. Anyway, so I do this exercise. I stick my tongue out like 20 times and then 10 more. Then I, uh, when I finish that, I stick my tongue in the back like this. I go 20 times and then 10 more. Then I stick my tongue outside in my mouth. Do 20 times, then go, uh, other side 20 times, then come up, up here, 10 times, other side 10 times, in the middle 10 times. And there's the part I can find, this is a thing, I don't know why I'm showing you this, but there's a, I don't know if it's a vein or a muscular or something like that, it goes, it's going like this, and it's got to go back to the center, so they're working on all that. Anyway, what I'm trying to say is, is when you get these these people that are going to give you a deep massage, even a time massage, and they just manip manipulate your body, whatever have you, that's fine and dandy. But the Arabic, the oils go into your joints, go into your skin, and that's why it takes so long to really do it. But you can really feel after a while what's, what's going on. So this healing that I'm doing is sort of like different than than whatever. That's what I tell you. Uh, so that's it. Let me just stop right there and tell you that's, that, that, that's, that's, that's the setup, you know. I would, oh, let me, oh, I bought my ticket, oh, hey, wait, wait a second, that's it, oh, no, no. Let, let me, let me, I know you all don't believe me, but if I say, oh, let me move this out there, man. let me get it, uh, yeah, yeah, there's the, oh, it's my Africa shirt, one of my Africa t-shirts, I don't wear, I only wear like this at night, Mm -hmm. thing, that thing I just hung up, I wear that when I when I have my after my after my afternoon nap, I wear that. And in the um in the morning I had the black the black thing with my with these other hands and I do my healing. Oh. They're over here then. Where it is. It's actually swimming trunks because the oils, you know. So every time I come back, I gotta wash it out right away because the oils like that. And I got these. These are swimming trunks. I got these a long time ago and I never wore it. And I go out, sometimes this happens to me a lot. I get something I never deal with it, and all of a sudden it comes. Up, there's a there's a use for it. Anyway, let me go back right here. So let's see. I went and well, I'm not looking at my bag and I don't have it in here. My backpack. That's my paternity brother. Oh, here it is. Oh, it's over there. Yeah, yeah. Ah. Uh, 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 uh. uh.
Okay. So, I have this little thing that I carried in my thing. In. Oh, well, this here, this is my legal residence. This is supposed to be good for every three months. You're supposed to see, I've got my legal residence in Timbaza. That's where I'm a Timbazian. <laughs> so I got my legal residence in Timbaza. Uh, but also here, I carry that's that's um has a, has a whatever one just the other one the paper one then I have oh this is my itinerary for when I came this is next one here oh this is my visa but now it's now it's in my passport but this is my visa that they sent and it's good for five years right yeah but I don't even have to carry that anymore because in my passport let us look let us look in my passport well this is my uh permit for my for south africa which was good for uh two years and uh that's gonna be a january 13 entry january 23 is good to 2023 24 25 huh yeah 25 january 19 and 25. So I got to get my permit. I'm applying for my permit residency. So uh, if it doesn't come in time, then I have to get another one of these. Anyway, but here's the Indian one. See, I came 27 February. Oh, no, this is good. I came 7 March uh, 2024, and it's good to 27 February 2029. Ah, and uh, you know, so I go back and forth to India. Multiple entries to 2029. That's nice. I wish they would do that for all of Africa, you know. No, no, well, just have visa free for Africa, especially if you're, you know, if you are in the diaspora, you're African from the diaspora. So that's all I have to show you this morning. Uh, I go back to eating, like I said, later on today. Ooh, it's hot already. I feel myself sweating, you know. But again, that's what I do. All right. So I check you all later. Be well, Mr. Uh, well, you know, it's me, T. From the Patterson's taking the train to Tibet and letting you know what I only suspect.